All right. Jackie the Joke Man Martling used to work on the Howard Stern Show. After a contract dispute, he has been gone for... How many years? How now? long has already years. been here? Seven years. Seven Ooh. years. Seven years. Seven years. And boy, did that time fly. There he is, Jackie, the joke it man, Martin. The joke man. The joke man coming. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> Who's that? Yeah, they brought in a new sidekick. <laughs> hey, Jackie. Jack, how are you? Hi, Jackie, Benji. Jackie shaking. Hi, Fred. Good to see you, friend. Jackie shaking Artie's hand, Benji's hand, and Fred's hand. And uh oh, now no, I got it. No. You're gonna get Fred's cooties. <laughs> Did you feel his hand? It feels like it, it's like oh. You know what? I mean. Why don't you let me sit down, Norris? <laughs> what are you saying, Fred? His hand feels old. Hand, his hand. No, it's like there, there's something leathery. Oh. I'm not saying that it's old. I'm just saying it feels leathery. I'm 60 Ooh. years old, Fred. Are you 60? No, 50, 53. What is Gary? <laughs> How old are you, really? Are you 60? Yeah. You turned 60. Wow, that's fucking weird. I am in my seventh decade. Oh, <laughs> oh, wow. Man. The wow. joke man's got a big smile on his face. He's 60. How can I be smiling at 60? Do you know what? 50 did not do a thing. They didn't even bought, never thought twice about it. But when I think, I can't even say it. Can you still get <laughs> it up? look at her. Come on, can I get it up? Can you? No. <laughs> <laughs> you can't really? He'll get it up for you now. Uh, I'll show you his cock. Don't worry. But seriously, can you get it up or are you doing Viagra? What is that? Is your little, uh... What's the blue light? I don't know. What is that? I don't know what you're doing. It's a pill thing? What, what is, is that? that? It's a keychain to hold your Viagra. You have a keychain that holds your Viagra? <laughs> Somebody showed me that, and I said that's the greatest thing, so the guy gave me 50 of them. That's for you. Why? Wow, it's you a little light it? so you can see things in the theater. Right. And then you can and get your it's Viagra. Got, it's got a little hidden compartment. Honestly, you carry that with you. No, of course I don't. But I've taken it. Sure, my Viagra's fun. Yep. I don't need it, but it's like anything. It's like having a, a wind I know, in your it's back. the only drug people take when they don't need it. <laughs> yeah, I, everyone I know doesn't need it, but they take it for fun. Did you ever take one? Never. I thought you played around with ecstasy, but you wouldn't take a Viagra. I never took ecstasy. Oh, I thought you did. No, no, I don't do drugs. Yeah, I, I don't did. eat. I swear I don't either. Yeah, but can I say something about you? This is funny. Like, Jackie's very proud of his sobriety yeah. and the fact that he cleaned up his act and he stopped drinking. Howard, I smoke more pot than Jerry Garcia. What do you is mean? That That's true? what I'm saying. So what he did was, instead of drinking now, he, he smokes pot. ten times switch. more pot. It's a whole, it's a different world, though. Do you, you what know. do you mean it's a different world? There's no, hang, you know, I'm not hungover. I don't smoke that much pot. I, you know, I, I'm no, having bullshit. a good time. Tell the truth. You're smoking tons of pot. I smoke pot at night. I don't smoke pot during the day. You know what I mean? I'm but like, you it, smoke it every night? No. Yeah, Jackie. <laughs> come on. Every other night. Come clean. When, since when do you, what do you, I, you I, oh, oh, yes, okay. Yes, I do. <laughs> yeah, I told you I did. <laughs> you, see, you, you, got, you got the truth out of me. I can't get over well, Robin? They said that you had a problem. I'm still getting over her date in Florentine. <laughs> <laughs> no kidding. I'm like, don't tell me about Artie. If she's fucking Jim Florentine, I, I got to go to the psychiatrist. Well, she won't admit it, but we think she is. Don't, doesn't that freak you out? I love Florentine. He's a character, but like... If you had have said, all right, t name a hundred people that Robin's never going to go on a date with, I'd say, all right, let me see, Jim. Florentine. Yeah. You'd be right at the top of the list. It's weird, though. You met Florentine, like, before all of us. You knew him well, for a hundred years. Well, we did Rules for Men together. We had a very weird scene together. It was what really is Rules fun. for Men? It was, it was one of these. It was movies. the first movie. I was, I was actually, I actually made that movie during one of my t contract workouts. <laughs> and it was so much fun. Otto and George was in it. I had to choke Otto's dummy. So you, I had to actually choke the dummy. It's a bad movie, but it's fun. And you, why do you think it's such a mismatch? Do you think it's um, no? It, you know what? It's not a mismatch at all when right. you think about. It, but just when you first hear it, why is it so shocking? Is it the interrate? Robin is said because he's because like from the Bobby Levy gang of crazies that. You know, that you would just see Robin <laughs> going to the other side of the street mean, rather than one, walk with them. You mean you know? he's one of those guys that will do a double decker, or an upper but, decker, and you know, shit. To, to tell the you the truth, I don't know him and don't know his actor. I didn't, I just, so I kind of grouped him with all those guys. So I, I didn't know, but I knew he was a nice guy. I just, I played with the, with the Robin gang. Robin thinks there's an aspect of the interracial quality that really freaks people out still to this day. Well, I said in general. I'm not saying in, in right. specific. Well, it's just wrong in a racial dating. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's get right down to it. You think it's Every dating. time I bang a black girl, I say, this is, this is the wrong thing. <laughs> are you banging? Be honest now. Are you banging? Why do you have to preface everything with be honest? Because I am I honest. You're the honest. one that doesn't tell the truth. You're not honest. You're not. 
You're not an honest guy. Sometimes you do like like, or like would you if you did went, you ever see True Romance? You went to see Stutter and John's movie. Was it good? I thought it was good. You did. People and every time somebody says, "Did you think it was good?" I say, "Yes." They say, "You sure?" Yes. <laughs> you really thought it was good? Yeah, they keep asking you. You know what? I laughed out loud probably five times, ten times, and oh. and that doesn't happen. You got well, What were you to... thinking of when you were laughing? <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't the movie. <laughs> I was thinking of Fred Norris. Did you see the movie, Norris? No, I didn't. It's actually out on DVD. I bought like five cancer. copies and gave you them to people. You bought five really? copies. Yeah, I think it's fun. <laughs> he, he wants you know to share. It? You know who you. plays the prostitute? He wants to share the misery. You know who plays the prostitute? Sandy Taylor. Sandy, yeah. That's Sandy right. Taylor. <laughs> That's true. I promised her I would. Keep it Sam, Sandy Sandy Taylor. Taylor <laughs> Come on, the, um, you had a red carpet out there and everything, and I'm saying, I saw Sandy, and I said, you know. And she said, I don't go by that name anymore. <laughs> so like, what, you never did go by that name. Was she Sandy Corn? Sandy, Von Sandy, Von Corn, Sandy yeah. Von Buckhorn. Sandy Von Buckhorn. That may be the funniest nickname we ever can. I think that's a Fred Norris. No, Jackie, I, I, I used to always come that. home and Nancy say, God, you know the funniest line you, you had today? And it was always something Fred said. Jackie's still putting like a whole bunch of money into his weird projects. Like, right. here's what I heard. This is something okay. I heard. You tell me. I'm building a bridge along. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Here's his. <laughs> Jackie that? made a movie. He put up all his own money. And Nancy and her new boyfriend produced it. No. Oh. Is that true or false? No, no, no. You're well. He's like Bruce Willis. We did, we did a game show. And it's really going to be great. And when show. we have a demo, I'm bringing it to Howard TV. Okay. And who's involved in this? You, Nancy, and it's, a new It's boyfriend? a joke show called Play With Jackie, and it's five different joke games. And but it's you so put up silly. your own money to shoot the pilot. Yeah, but Perna did it. You know, we, we're all partners on it, so it didn't cost anything. It didn't know? cost you any money? Well, it costs a little bit of money for, you know, building props and stuff, but we didn't, you know... Because Gary said to me, how's Jackie making a living now? Like, what is he, like, what kind of money? I know, he asked me that. Hey, yeah, yeah, he's consumed with it. I and mean, then he got me thinking about it. Now I can't get all of it. Like, okay, you were making real good money when you were on the show. I had money and I bought some stocks, but I got killed in the stock crash. I got killed in 9-11. I got killed by my divorce, but... I got a few bucks left. My house is paid for. I do, do you a little have enough bit of money to live. Let's say you live to eighty. I you swear, I say years. the same thing to everybody. The same thing that Rod used to say and Jackie Mason used to say. I got enough money to last me the rest of my life, unless I want to buy something. Right? <laughs> you know? Do you buy any? Oh, vices. My vices are pot. You have you to know, buy. Pot is going to can, going to Sundance. I don't buy pot. You know, people give me pot. You they know, give it to you. Yeah. I don't, I, contrary to what Howard Stern says, I. You know, I don't go through a lot. You know, I smoke a bowl of pot. I'm fine. I'm an old guy. I got yeah. no bad habits. So you have enough money. I like money. to get laid, so and I haven't paid for that yet. <laughs> so you have enough money, you're saying, where you can, your house is paid for, as you say. So you have no mortgage, uh, but you have to pay the taxes. Yeah, no, I'm not sitting pretty. Yeah. I'm not sitting pretty. I got money. I need another score. I need this yeah. game show to happen. Are you mm -hmm. starting to panic a little bit? How can I panic? I don't know. I could I could do stand up the rest of my life until I fall over. Are you making enough doing stand up? Yeah, to... it's fun. It's fun. What are you making now a night? I'm not telling you. Like Artie's making about making? seventy five to one hundred thousand a night. Oh, I make a lot more than Artie. Oh, you do. Oh, oh, Artie, yeah. Oh, oh, the <laughs> second highest paid guy. Is it after Jack? Seventy. You <laughs> cock. <laughs> That's what I tried to tell you How all those you years. Fucking, Jackie, I thought it was you know when I fucked up. Don't fuck up. You know, Jackie, oh, I, I told you, I told you all those years ago. I said, Jackie, you're gonna make a fucking fortune. The with best show. I did the the, the time bef the, I think it was the week before I left the show. I did a gig in Detroit, one show for twenty two thousand five hundred dollars. It was like they said, we'll give you twenty grand. And we'll give you another 2500 if you go to the bar afterwards. I said, you couldn't keep me from the bar afterwards. <laughs> you didn't pay me, you didn't pay me yeah. to go that was, that was extra. And not only that, the week you left, I took him to Vegas, of course, with the yes, show. Yes, private, private jet. jet yeah. The whole fucking day. And I said, this, no way this guy's this is, leaving. Look at the life. Look you at know, the life. I flew yeah. home from Sundance in a private jet. And I said, you know, I did this many moons ago. <laughs> we did it twice, right? Uh, sure. I remember the first time we flew out there. Remember we were like... Can't you take this one time around the park so we can hear Yeah, you were having a chicken great time. And <laughs> you had it all. You had it all. I had it all. If I knew you were going to look like this, I wouldn't have gone nowhere. Look at you. <laughs> you feel she looks top of her game. That's, you know, I get you asked everything about this show. I've been asked every possible question. But the leading question is, did you ever have sex with Robin? Did you ever have sex with Robin? They, sometimes they say, were you guys friends? Were you enemies? 
Come on, you banged her. Come on, tell the truth. But tell me the yeah, truth. And they also asked me if you banged her. I said, no, I never did. Howard does. Yeah. <laughs> Something else you're missing on. Could I'm you, fucking her you, like crazy. Could you have ever gotten Rocky? Now in like the floor. No, no, I could But wait. No, no she would have never married. gone for me. No. We have a oh, brother. I disagree. Wait, wait, she had a dream about him one Yeah, time. I disagree. Let me ask you Do you remember you we both had dreams about, we had dreams about each other? Yeah. That was it. You were married at the time, but do you now think in light of the Florentine thing? Do you think like maybe you should call her up and said, hey, come on, let's go out? Like, if you'll date him, you'll certainly date me. <laughs> yeah. How can I date him? I'm out of money. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got freaked out. Will you Nancy's... just tell people that my show is tonight? Well, I will. Jackie's Joe Hunt is... Anniversary. Howard. And it's, it's our the 75th. finger? You, what? what? You've done 75 Jackie's Joe Tonight's the 75th Jackie's Joe Hunt. No, no, no. It's 75 shows already? Tonight is fun with fingers. Fun with fingers. <laughs> you, know, you know how what's tonight was inspired tell me, by? Tell me a joke about fingers. <laughs> Jackie did 75 shows already? Already. Wow. See, we're not counting anything, thank God. We don't know what we've done. Yeah, we don't know what we've done here. I, I have two jokes for you, but I want to tell you the, the, the inspiration for the show. Do you remember Ahmet Erdogan from Atlantic yes. Records? He was the president of Atlanta Records. Big guy in the music industry. Right. I'm reading this, these, one of these old rock and roll books, and he was going upstairs behind Phoebe Legere okay. from oh, like the geez. 50s or something. She lived in a fifth-story walk-up. And she agreed to let him come to her apartment. And as they were walking up the stairs, he was behind her, put his hand up her dress, got his finger under her panties and into her asshole, pulled it out and ran to his limo and went home. I said, I got to have a show about that. Mm. Isn't he like one of the classy guys? Of course. <laughs> tell, me, tell, me, tell me a joke. You know, when I think of you, like I shook your hand when you came here, and all I'm thinking about is when Jackie stuck his finger in one of the sales guys' oh, asses. Yeah, yeah. That's going to be a main, that's going to be a mainstay of the show tonight. Right. Out so. of the chicken and and did that. <laughs> oh, okay. so this show tonight, Jackie's joke hunt is going to be all jokes about Amadeus no, fingers. No, you know, we have we have we have themes, but very often we don't even go near the themes. Right. You know, I was telling Tell Gary, me a finger joke. Come on, let's go. No, I have two jokes. I have, uh, they're not finger jokes, but I have two jokes for you. Oh, all right, go Why ahead. don't you have finger jokes as the theme tonight? That's the theme. You, can, you can prick your finger, but don't prick your brain. <laughs> I thought you slept through the show nowadays, they told me. Or oh, is that you sleep? <laughs> you just don't talk. I, no, I talk. He throws things. He looks, you look younger. What you do you think, think so? You, you look older. Uh, I don't know what happened. Oh Fred looks good. Does Fred look good? Or am I you crazy? believe Fred is Fred still angry with you? And I know, I know. No, you're... no, I'm not. We we've, we've patched it up. Did I love you, the did guy. You patch it up? We patched it up. We we're past that. Oh, is that right? I think we're friends again. I love Fred Norris. You actually talk? Oh, you I did. got a story for you. Do you know that? All the years. Remember Gina Girl? Yeah. Yeah. The first Gina Girl. Gina the cr- Dan. Dan, Dan, Jerry right. washed me. She used to call me Jackie Marlow. Right. So every time he did a plug for me or said my name, Fred would go, Jackie Marlow, Jackie Marlow. <laughs> so I stalled, started calling him Fred Morris. Right. Just to annoy him because he's getting my name wrong. M O R R I S, Fred right. Morris. I found out that all these years, for 15 years, he thought I was saying Fred Mars. Oh. <laughs> so that, that's that. why he was upset with you. I don't know. I never have asked him. I can't even believe he. I, I hardly think that's why, but <laughs> well, that could have contributed. All right, give me two no, jokes, was... Jackie, to prove the people should listen to you tonight if they haven't listened. So a lady gets out of the shower. A woman gets out of the shower and she slips and she falls on the bathroom tile right. and. The suction of her pussy gets a caught on the on the floor, <laughs> and she can't get up. So she, Harry, come in. So her husband comes in. He's rocking her shoulders, but they can't break the suction of her twat on the on the top. So he says, "Hold on." He goes and gets the neighbor. The neighbor comes over to the tomb of pushing her shoulders, and they can't break the suction. And the neighbor says, "Listen, I'm just gonna go get my hammer. We'll break up the tile." <laughs> her husband says, "Okay, but let me play with her nipples a little first. And the neighbor says, "Why do you want to play with her nipples?" He says. I want to get her lubed up so we can slide her in the kitchen where the tiles are cheap. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, that's good, right? I heard that on your show. That's very good. I heard that one. You got me laughing. You did listen to the show. I heard you tell that joke on the show. If you listen to the joke on, I'm going to start dating Florence. I listen all the time. No, people listen to the joke. You want to hear the best very married, popular, yeah. the best married <laughs> joke I ever heard? Mm-hmm. A guy robs a bank. He takes hostages. He says, the first hostage, did you see me rob the bank? The guy says, yeah, so he shoots him in the head. <laughs> he says, the next hostage, did you see me rob the bank? And the guy says, no, but my wife did. <laughs> 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 
Oh, you got some good stuff now. You know what it is? You have more time to concentrate on these no. jokes. I got nothing but time. How much you want? Now, someone told me that Jackie's Joke Master, which is one of your products, yes. was named on a list of toys containing lead. Now, what do you, how do you address that? You know, they, they, Steve, what's his face from Howard 100 News, called up and said, I, I don't know what's in them. You know? Listen, I went through the Where 50s. I never swallowed a battery made. or a screw, and I'm still here. You know, they're crazy. You don't worry about that stuff. You're I think if, I think if you lived master. in a house made out of joke masters for 400 years, at some point, maybe you'd, you know, get raid on for you. <laughs> Let me ask you something, Jackie. It seems to me, even when we were working together, you never turn down a product or a project. Your face is on, or the, the joke man name is on. It is so much worse than ever. You wouldn't believe what I get offered, and you wouldn't believe what I do. I just, but I enjoy name, it all. Name four things you've turned down this year. I have I don't turn down, turn down anything. anything. Anything that comes your way, you accept. Any product. If, you know, no, if I got time. And, have you turned down anything? Yeah, no, I turned down a lot. You have. Name, name something I you know. turned down. I, I can't I even tell you. I don't believe you. Name one thing you turned down. One thing you turned down this year. You know what? Somebody just asked me to do something. Yeah. What? Somebody asked me to do a movie, and then I, and I actually said no. And I was going around set, telling people, I said, hey, Nancy, I turned something down. You know? Yeah, and why did you I turn think it I down? think I wasn't going to be in town or something <laughs> yeah, like that. That was the only reason. You had something to do. I'm going to L.A. for a screening of the Pikers, and if you want to goof on me, yeah. All 20 years of goof on me can be all put into this one thing. Just easy. What are the Pikers? Why didn't it's, you it's, heard uh, of it? it's the Beverly Hillbillies with me as Jed Clampett. Oh, you're in it. It's it's and it's is and it I horrible? It, but also, you would laugh the entire time. But isn't Miss uh, the Black Miss Howard Stern in it? I I don't, I, I don't know who Can you that imagine is. this movie. You can't imagine. You got to send one of your interns or somebody. You got to be there. It's it's May fifth in Los Angeles. Now how how are you going to afford to go down to the premiere? Are you going to fly yourself or is someone going to get fly you? What I do is I go to the airport and then I take a bus. From oh, the airport. You're <laughs> so no one can see that. Yeah. What is it, Gary? Go ahead. Go to Gary preview page two in the bottom right hand corner. This is a different this is one of Jackie's most recent movies. What uh, movie is this? I don't know, it doesn't have a title on it. This Where's is... the little talking Gary? That's not here no more. No, no more. We... Oh, you gotta look at the real one? Yeah. Oh, the humor's out of the show. Where's the talking puppet? Jackie, what's the name of the movie where you get hired to perform for a senator? I forget. It's called The Wicked. Oh yeah, that's that's fun. Now here's Jackie in his movie, The Wicked. Now, how do you have that if I don't even have that? I've never seen it. All right, here's Jackie's acting in The Wicked. All Thank right. you very much. All right, here we go. This is for you, Tom Bernard. The service have arrived. They're all over the place. They're outside. They're on the roof. That's not me. And the entertainment has just shown up. Right over here. <laughs> now, what is the plot? You are an entertainer. I, have no, I showed up and did my two minutes. I have no idea what the plot is. All right, is. I guess it's a senator has hired Jackie to perform at one of his parties. Oh, and then, oh, then they find out I'm too dirty. Okay. I'm here. Hey, Senator. Jackie the Joke Man Marling. How you doing? Ah! <laughs> I guess you fell for the oldest gag in the books there, Senator. <laughs> So what do you want me to set up? Come on, let's get this thing going, man. Eh? In due time, in due time, uh, uh, joke man, is it? Jackie. Just call me Jackie. <laughs> Jackie. Jackie's a joke man modeling. How you doing? <laughs> well, Jason over here tells me that you have a, a very funny uh, stand-up act. Yeah. I'm assuming you've been briefed. I'm assuming... <laughs> There's a couple of things I think you should know. Hmm. First of all, when you address the president, you never look... What did they? I'm do a good actor compared to that guy. Yeah, what did they do a second take? I'm assume. I mean, wouldn't they say? I, I tell think... you, I never saw. I liked the guy. I went to the middle of the Bronx and show, I, right. this is fun. Him, in his eyes. Him and Michael Jackson. Okay, because he uh -huh. hates that shit. Yeah, all right. And second, or, or uh, obscene material in this act. You understand? Nothing indecent. What? <laughs> Wait a minute. No profanity? <laughs> no fuck shit ream blow? Hmm. How about this? How about I open up? It's all right, folks. We're going to lock the doors, and then we're going to suck on each other's gentles till our jaws are as worn out as Rosie O'Donnell's fork. <laughs> But there's no real profanity there, right? Boy, oh boy, this is some movie. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> hey, you want to hear the good news? Yeah. I just found out actually yesterday. You realize the only thing Jackie <clears throat> ever turned down?
contact <laughs> here. That's it. You should have had a picture of Quivers show. looking like this. The one thing that you were so successful at, making money with. Howard. You'll do any Scotty, piece of shit. No, no. Scotty, Jackie, is, you're such oh, a bullshit baby, artist. I'm not full of shit. You know why you're full of shit? The one thing you were making some money at, that you had a problem with. <laughs> the, the, the thing that, anything that's free, that's a horse shit thing. You yes, could, yes, 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 yes. Anything free, the guy would show up. I haven't run into a there person a in guy... seven years that hasn't told me that I look ten years younger, much more relaxed. Like, this is Good. Really beats the shit out of this there show. There isn't a thing. But you just told Freddie looks younger and Robin looks younger. You're telling I, me I, how I, does it beat the shit? Congratulations. Right. I, I guess he is fucking you. Oh, Fred, I mean. <laughs> the, com the combination of a stand-up schedule on this show is hard. I mean, that'd be hard for anybody. But the but thing no. that drives me crazy about Jackie is, and I always is say, everything. Jack yeah. <laughs> Jackie has this fear of success like I've never seen in a human being before. But now I got that down to a science. There's no... There's no... Right. You, you've got it. You're, you're now He's in full control. control. Listen, control. Venus in Vegas is finally coming out. I don't know if you know about that. What's that's that? That's the movie where I make out with Florence Henderson. Oh, my oh, God. French kiss, Florence oh, Henderson. That's wild. And we're both born on Valentine's Day. It's, oh, it was a romance you. created. No, she's, she was hot as hell. Oh. Somebody, everybody said, what was it like? Was it torture? I said, I... It twitched. Oh. <laughs> Not uh, the Pikers are right next to that clip. If you want to hear clips from the All Pikers. Right. Let's go to an, it's a Jackie Film Festival. All right, here's Jackie's new movie, The Pikers. Wow. I haven't heard these. <laughs> you people. What are you doing here? Uh -huh, Hi, fella. Funky Pikers the name. Man, tell him I met her maker and left us this here beautiful mansion. <laughs> we came all the way from Kentucky. Yes, sir. It's my sister Pearl. It's her son, Jeeber. <laughs> That's my daughter, Lila May. You, got, you have to see it. And we're your new neighbors. Well, that is terrific. I it's didn't the realize. Beverly Hillbillies, only instead of getting a million dollars, they inherit a, a house in the ghetto. Oh. Uh, and, and so they, the black people are freaked out that we're going to wreck the neighborhood. All right, let's hear this. It's very funny. Oh, Bunky, I know it was too good to be true. Now, Pearl, there must be some mistake. This is the right street, and this house has the right numbers. <laughs> Howdy. We're from out of town, and, and maybe we got lost. Cause Hi, my name's Chrissy Shirt. Please. That's the, the, the cute little black girl. Yeah. Nobody was in staying here. At, like, I didn't mess up anything. It's only been for like a couple of months. I mean, I didn't hurt anybody. And wow, Jackie. Hmm. Am I allowed to say black? Somebody said I'm not allowed to say that anymore. Sure you are. Say whatever you want. Nobody, <laughs> nobody cares. <laughs> <laughs> did you get an erection when you made out with uh, Florence Henderson? It twitched. It did. Uh, it wow. honestly twitched. We, I mean, we French kissed. Well, I and guess what? I had mustard and ketchup all over me, and oh. we slobbered. Oh, it was great fun. Well, Jackie, I love you, and uh, I am glad that you are on our channels. And the fact that you've done 75 shows is amazing to me. I didn't even realize you've it had been that long. You've even gone through a contract negotiation. Yes, he has. Smoothly. In yeah. fact, it's smoothly. And Jackie... You know why? Why? We didn't ask for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Smart. You know what we knew we were going to get? Uh, nothing. nothing. <laughs> Although Jackie had a weird request what? in his contract. What was it? He wanted to intern. And Tim T Sabian said, I, I I don't know why Jackie needs two interns. So they went to Jackie. This to, help, to help me get jokes. And I, I, I got tons of work for an intern. But, you know, it was, well, like, I, it was like I was asking for what? I heard that they, Tim came to you and said, Jackie, what do you need interns for? And you didn't have an answer. Well, he, <laughs> do I, you know, I went to lunch with him and met with him. And talked to him and told him the whole idea that I had for the show. And then I went to dinner with you, blah, blah, blah. And then finally, three months later, I go into his office and he goes, what do you want to do? I'm like, <laughs> where the fuck were you when we sat and ate dinner and I laid out the whole thing and your eyes bugged out and that's such a great idea, you know. Yeah, well, listen, you know. He's overwhelmed. I know he's doing one thing at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> Does, uh, you listen, let me just say, Jackie's Joke Hunt, tonight at 7 o'clock on Howard 101. It's the big 75th show, the fingering show. Fun with fingers. Did you ever hear the names of the show? Kiss My Astroglide, right. the Monster Dick Pull, 
Right. Yerkin the Gherkin, Mount Flushmore. Hard to believe you're 60 years old and still doing this. <laughs> it's, you know what? I can't. I can't hardly believe it myself. But uh, see Jackie this Friday at Ferrara's in Point Pleasant Beach, New Jersey. Oh, Imagine I know that place. Hanging out in a nice room with Jackie. You know what? This where... is what I do the show, and then we do Stump the Joke Man, and then we all have dinner. It's so much. Fun. It's a little tiny Italian restaurant. Yeah. Stump the Joke Man is fun. This is where you say to uh, oh. Dominic Barber wants to say hello. Uh, he has a joke. Yeah. Hi, Dominic. You're on with Jackie. Oh, the joke oh I got I got No. Go ahead. Jackie, I, I just want to ask you, how many years were you on the Stern Show? I don't know, Dominic. Why don't you read a book? No, no, seriously. About nine, about 14? Take your age and divide it by 7,000. <laughs> 18 years. So if you add that plus the nine years. Nine years. Uh, one must wonder what happened in this divorce because it's the only one I didn't do from the, the show. Who got uh -huh. what? Like now, you weren't too busy doing all of your own divorces. <laughs> <laughs> who got? Who got Why do you bother divorce them? Why don't you just get on top of them and squish them? <laughs> <laughs> Fat bastard, leave me alone. This is my time. <laughs> I'm promoting here. I don't need to promote Dominic Barber. It's nice to talk come, to you, Dominic. But who come... got which mansion and who got the rap? <laughs> Yeah, who, how come you how come you are not divorced? I don't understand. Yeah, it's been a long that? time. Why is it that you and Nancy? I have... I have reasons. Oh really? <clears throat> yeah. Oh tax reasons perhaps. I... Business. I work for Excalibur Electronics. Right. And we're legally separated, so she's covered oh. by their health insurance. Oh, I except, see. So we're completely divorced. Everything's split up except for the final. And when I was a kid, I always thought that a separation was a. To see how it was being apart, right, and then right. if you got divorced, you chopped everything up. Right. It's exactly the opposite. Someone you chop everything up, and the divorce is the final. Someone told me also you were afraid you wouldn't be able to take communion if you got divorced. That's another. Th that was a very important. Listen, I was just in Florida, and guess who was in my green room? Who? Do you remember Kimberly Taylor? Of course. Kimberly and Amy Lynn were both in there, and Sandy was at John's. Th I was like. Jesus, these people are coming out of the woodwork. How'd Kimberly look? She looks Kimberly and Amy and Patty Mullen is down there and they want to have Sandy they want to all come in here and have a reunion on your show. So really? I don't know if and I'll give get... And they all look good. Amy looks unbelievable. Wow. Kim looks good, but Amy was like that girl next to I still wow. can't believe she's a pet. And you couldn't bang any of them. Not a, I couldn't Man. get near anybody. So what is going on with your love life? There's a girl I see from San Francisco that I like very, very, very much. Would you get married again? Would I? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, would I'm I? not gonna, but I have no problem. But there'd be no reason to. You know. Would I? Clubfoot. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? What inspired me to come on here? I'm going back to governors like, with the, oh. the operative word being back. Because <laughs> I was running governors when I first came on yes, here, and yes. I'm doing the, a comedian bought governors, and I'm going to record a comedy CD there called like Snark. That. So that's at the end of June. So what is it called? Snart. S N A R T. Okay, and that means snart. Telling jokes on stage, snart. Oh, an, oh, oh okay. snart. See, I only did that so Fred would go. Get it. See Jackie this Friday at Ferraris in Point Pleasant Beach, New Jersey, and June 26th and 27th at Governor's Comedy Shop in Levittown, Long Island. And you can call 516-922-WINE, his famous line. For, still going. That's it's right. It's still there. Uh, they still have jokes on there. And uh, Jokeland.com, there's a lot going on. Another phone call for Jackie. This is CR in Philadelphia. Do people just come and visit Jokeland? Hey, Howard, how you doing? Uh, here and there. Yeah. CR, go ahead. Hello. Yeah, hi. How you doing, Howard? Hi. hi. Hey, uh, you know, Howard, I just want to tell you, Jackie's still fucking annoying. Uh. He's, only, uh, he's still annoying, still gets there, and still laughs about all the jokes that he throws out there. Jackie, why do you think you're so funny? Well, I told two jokes, and everybody in the room laughed. So for some reason, I will probably go into another room and tell him again. All right. Oh, it goes. Uh, let me let me go to Peter. Peter, uh, you're on the air with Jackie the Joke Man Mardling, longtime member of this show, who does not yeah. listen to our show anymore because he gets reports uh, from his friends and they irritate him. That's right. I don't get I don't get irritated. Yeah. Uh, I heard that you were thin, but I had to see it. <laughs> Peter, go wow. ahead. Good morning. Be honest, Jackie. Be very honest. Try to be honest for you. Are yes, you, notice, I, I, how, notice how everyone thinks you're dishonest. Yeah, I know. Says, Come yeah. On, be <laughs> it's not like they get it from you. Right. Jesus Christ. Go ahead, Peter. Do you, do you, is there a moment? A, yes. A, a, a moment in your life that you don't regret uh, leaving the show? No. Do you wake up every morning thinking, ugh, I don't get to do the show? I wake up shaking. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm serious. I mean, don't you regret the biggest mistake you've ever made in your entire yeah. life? Yeah. 
Yeah. I've been to a lot of therapy. <laughs> and it's, not, you have, you and it's not bad for you that um, Nancy's banging another guy. You're okay with you that. You like the guy. I videotape. You do. You videotape <laughs> your sex. <laughs> wow. Are they affectionate in front of you? I kill them. <laughs> Are they affectionate in front of you? <laughs> yeah, this. She's, you know what? Me and Nancy were really, really oh, good friends yeah, before we went out. Us. Then we lived together. Then we got married. So, like, we can revert back to that no friendship. No jealousy? Not, not even a little. Wow. I, I was with her last night. She, she was looking at the footage from the game show. She produced it. Dropping fucking loads on your fucking glasses. <laughs> Is that them? Yes. <laughs> yes. Is it Bobby, the so does quarantine drop big loads on those or not? <laughs> See, is it this fun to talk about? Yes. Tell them to leave you? me alone, Robin. <laughs> Tell them to leave me the fuck alone. Does it bother I you can't that? I help you. I'm just helping myself. <laughs> Jack, Jackie, does it bother you that Gary is now a friar? Oh, I gotta tell you, it's so funny because Gary joined the Friars and it was a great party. Erwin, uh, do you ever ever have Erwin Corey on the show? No. He would be so. Funny. Most people don't even remember Professor Erwin. He's Corey. So, it doesn't, you don't have to know him. He's just so. But the whole thing was a nice thing, and afterwards Gary was in the corner, you know, eating with Buckwald and whoever. And I got up to leave and I yelled. John and me used to break Gary's balls about, you know, the shrimp never had right, a chance right. with those right. teeth. So I yelled across the room, the shrimp doesn't have a chance. And Gary, like, laughed. And, like, the next day I saw somebody that said, hey, I was listening to a rerun on the show, and I heard you telling Gary that the shrimp didn't have a chance. And I said, I said that yesterday. <laughs> Jackie, you sound like you're having one big party. I'm shrimp. not. I had a couple cups of coffee. When you see me in two hours, I'll be a fucking mess. Uh, <laughs> look, I'm going to remind everyone, it is amazing to me that already Jackie has done 75 shows, and that Jackie's Joke Hunt is such a big hit. Yeah. You have to listen to it tonight at 7 o'clock, where Jackie has an hour unencumbered by us. Now, tell me the truth. What is the feedback? I, haven't, I don't hear from I anybody. Got, if I, I figure if I don't hear from Sabian, we must be going must all right. Be You're good, doing huh? well. In fact, people enjoy it. They like to hear the jokes. Keep the jokes coming, and people are happy. It's That's just it. goofy, you well. know? Can you, imagine the show? Can you imagine if you had two interns on how good the show would be? It'd yeah. be unbelievable. We well. hear <laughs> more old jokes. The show is good, and uh, Ian is good. Ian, Ian is, is good. Great. Ian is Ian such is a sweetheart. Yeah. Such He's a doing great a great guy. job, and everyone loves it. And uh, I told you, my sister is a big fan. She says, I got it. And, you know, everyone always Ellen? says to me. I haven't yes. seen Ellen in a billion years. My sister She's says still to me, married and all the whole deal. Yeah, she Peter, says, right? Yeah, she says to me. I can't believe I like Jackie's show. Well, you know what I do? <laughs> Ellen, that's left-handed. Yeah, she's like, I was driving in my car. She was on a long trip. We put on Jackie's show for an hour. She goes, I was entertained the entire yeah. hour. What I do when I was... To hear that $70,000 a weekend? <laughs> and I said to her, I I'm said... I'm available, you fat You might fuck. be the only person who's heard the entire hour. Howard! Oh, I'm kidding. No. Busty balls. I, I, here's what I do, because I... Just, Wait, you, know, you have heard it? Yes, Have absolutely. you ever heard it? Of course I have. Did you laugh? Yes. It's funny. I like when you tell the joke. And every week you would have a theme. He's every like, week we have a theme. And I would say to myself when I'd hear the promo, how's he going to make a whole hour out of that? The phallic cunt, the upchuck cunt, the frantic cunt, yes. the flip cunt, the pink cunt, <laughs> proud f***ing. That was my favorite. Uh, what about Tom? Tom? Tom in Boston, what do you want to say? Jackie, a long-time uh, fan of not you, but uh, oh, the show. Uh, Jackie, well, tell me something. Why do you laugh before Why do I get three negative calls? I don't even get any horrible calls on my own show. Who's, who is who is screening me? Well, let's hear his show. Maybe it's not negative. What do you want to say? Why do I laugh at my own jokes? That's how I do it. Why do you laugh? I feel like you're getting an ice pick in my ears. Every fucking joke you tell... Before the punchline, you're laughing your balls off. Then don't listen to me. Fuck up. No. Oh my God. No. Jackie, these are the positive calls. I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Curly, why do you let Mo poke you in the eye? That's right, my Rob, job. Rob, go ahead. Do you have anything positive to say? Rob, go ahead and nod. Hey, never see Jackie. Hey, Howard, Come on. I was just wondering, did, did you book Jackie on the show? To show Artie what he would turn out if you're. Oh, oh, Jesus. Oh, Let me give a warning to you. I ain't making it to 60. <laughs> now I'm mad at you. Uh, uh, 60? <laughs> Jackie, you are a delight. We are thrilled you are you part of the You know what? I didn't even come in here to promote that. I came in here because I haven't seen you guys in a billion years. This is the only time I would ever no, see you. No, it's great when together. you come in. We love when you come in. And Jackie. Who... You'll go to dinner with me again because you smacked your head. No, I will go to dinner with you anytime. <laughs> Jackie's you know about that? No. That I'm was going. the greatest thing. I Let me finish my show. Shut up. <laughs> we went to dinner at Vincinetti's, and it's a little... 
place with it's an old Italian restaurant all and right. it's an old storefront. New York was made for little people and so it's all draped with all kinds of <laughs> cloth. So the the door to the back had drapery over it and I went walking through the door to go to the little thing out back and I hear boom. <laughs> Because where the cloth was, was where the doorway was, oh. and Howard walked into the doorway, and he had this wealth on his head, and the whole thing, we, see, we hadn't seen each other in was years, so we're sitting there Jackie. talking, I'm laughing through the whole fucking appetizer, and he's like, you're an asshole, I said, you know what, if it was Fred that hit his head, me and you would be peeing our pants right now, Meanwhile, and every time we got serious, I look at this, it's a well done. I'll never go to dinner with him again, <laughs> it was so annoying, I had no compassion, and you know what, I'm I dying swear. if I'm lying, though. is it and true? I, and I was woozy when I agreed to your show. <laughs> That's how Jackie Joke Hunt came about. Came he was just <laughs> I was busy. Like a girl on roofies. I said yes. It was a plan. <laughs> All right. Jackie only plan. takes meetings with tall executives. <laughs> That's how he gets a lot of his deals done. He bangs them over the head. No, Jackie's Joke Hunt is a delight. Jackie's a delight. Go listen to him at 7 o'clock on Howard 101. It's the 75th show. That's quite an accomplishment. Yes. Go celebrate with him tonight. And by the way, go see him this Friday at Ferraris in Point Pleasant Beach, New Jersey, so he can make 75000 a night like Artie. Yeah. And June 26th and 27th at Governor's Comedy Shop in Levittown, Long Island. Right. For more Jackie info, you go to 516-922-WINE. Or go to jokeland.com. Thanks, and Ian Jack. specially says hello. He's never met you, and he he loves. He's a, such a huge fan of the show. So Who is that? Ian is he's my co-host. Co oh, okay. yeah, yes, I listen to the show. Um, <laughs> <laughs> all right, we're going to take a what break. What a prick! I do listen. <laughs> uh, <laughs> That's why you know Say Ian. hello to Ian. Will you? Okay. Hey, Ian, what's happening? There you go. All right. And, Say hello uh, to Tom Bernard. And do me a favor. It's hi, Tom Bernard. In 75 more shows, stop by. Come back, come back. In 75 more shows. Victoria. Hi, Victoria. In 75 more shows, stop by. You don't think I'm going to make it. You don't think, oh, I guess he's in charge. We could make a bet, and then, at, you know, show 149, you're fired, you know. All right, we'll be back. Thank you, Hal. Thank you, Jackie. Uh, great to see Jackie. We'll be back right after these words.